So I've been on Patong Beach in Phuket for a few days now and I'm beginning to get that little bit stir crazy. I want to go and visit some of the other beaches on the island. But I don't really want to get one of the taxi mafia. I'm bored with being asked for 300 baht just to go to the end of the soy. And I don't really fancy a motorbike, being as I saw two accidents on the first day of arrival. So I've come up with a way of being chauffeur driven around the island. Well, I say chauffeur driven. I'm actually going to use the Grab app to get a man with a van to take me to the other beaches. So what we're going to do is look around some of the nearby beaches. We're starting in Patong Beach, so we want ones that are close enough to that. Now, it's going to be about 400 baht, 500 baht, just for one taxi drive, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So if you go and come back to one beach, that could be 800 baht or even 1,000 baht. Yeah. But apparently, if you go on Grab, you can just like hire a taxi or hire a van for two hours or four hours and they drive you around everywhere. I've no idea what the price is at the moment. Did you have a look at it or not? Well, a couple of days ago, it was about 1,300. Okay. Around that level. So if it's like 1,300 or even like anything less than 2,000, I'm reckon we're quids in basically because like if we can go to three or four different beaches, he's going to wait for us and take us to the next beach and the next beach and the next beach. Then it's going to work out cheaper than getting a new taxi every single time. Are there any famous beaches north of here that we could get to? The, well, the one that's recommended is Bang Tao. Bang Tao Beach. Okay, so we've made that the northern one and then yep. make our way back beach by beach by beach see where we get to we might see one beach we might see five beaches but hopefully before the end of four hours we're going to end up back at Patong Beach. Famous last words. Well I'm not sure how long it's going to take because We've chosen a time when there's lots of traffic. So we're stuck in this traffic jam. It's going to be about another 10 minutes, I think. Actually, it's not such a good deal if you end up just sat in a traffic jam for all of that time and find out you haven't left the tongue yet. Um... Okay. So we've arrived at Bang Tao Beach and it took a little bit longer than anticipated, that's for sure, because there was a lot of traffic on the road and according to the driver, that's kind of the situation in the afternoon every day. So do watch out for that one. Bang Tao itself is one of the most famous beaches on Phuket. According to Time Out magazine, it's the number one beach that people go to. It's certainly a little bit upmarket. You've got all of the exclusive hotels around here. You've got some shopping and you've also got one of the longest white sanded beaches, certainly anywhere on Phuket, because it's either six kilometers long, according to some of the guidebooks. In the Time Out magazine, they said it's eight kilometers long. So, wow. One thing that I should say, especially if you've been on that minivan for an hour, as I have, is there's not obviously any toilet facilities when you get here. You need to ask in the restaurant and then they tell you to go to one of the hotels. So toilet facilities, it's not that good on Bang Tao Beach, but let me just run back and then I'll see you again in a minute. So Bang Tao Beach is on the northwestern side of the island. It's actually situated between Kamala Beach, which is to the south, and Nai Ton Beach, which is to the north. It's actually not very far from the Phuket International Airport. It's only about 20 minutes drive away from there. So it's a great place for people to come for water-based activities. That's one of the things that it has a reputation for. So here you can do all the normal stuff. You can do swimming, you can do snorkeling, there's jet skiing, there's parasailing, there's everything that you could want. One of the things that it's really famous for being on the western side of the island is absolutely fantastic sunsets. So if you were here and it was about 6.30, you'd have a fantastic sunset. I might go and look at some other beaches on the west side of the island and hopefully pick up a sunset there. Also nearby this beach is Phuket Fantasy. That's quite famous for its shows. Other than that, it's really something where you want to go for upscale, upmarket restaurants, hotels and resorts, some shopping 
and most of all that lovely long white sanded beach. So just taking a stroll down this beach and the sand is lovely and fine between your toes and it's quite white more so than in Patong you can notice that the sea is pretty turquoise today although we have got a bit of air pollution but one thing that we did find out well Russell my mate did because he couldn't quite make it over to the toilet block so he decided to go for a swim one thing you do notice here is that the beach does shelve away quite sharply actually you can go at about 20 meters or 10 meters and it's actually over your head it gets deep really quickly so you might be able to see the warning flags behind me take note of those be careful out here because the sea out here can be a bit more dangerous than other beaches in Phuket so the Tom Yam Gung restaurant rather than share price crash um, yeah well, the prices are not the cheapest are they I mean if you look up captive audience in the dictionary they've got a link through to this restaurant but yeah it's all good <music> So just a short drive away, just a few kilometers away, is this beach, which is Surin Beach. It's another beach that's kind of known to be a little bit more upmarket than some beaches. But to be honest, looking around, I'm not sure that you'd notice that today. It's a little bit more crowded than the last beach. And this is because, well, it's only three kilometers long. Only three kilometers. It's still a fair stretch of beautiful white sand not so many of the umbrellas and chairs on the beach itself they're a little bit back from the beach and the other thing that they used to have here is they used to have quite a few restaurants and people selling things literally on the beach they were all cleared away but they seem to have crept back crept back well they actually have a whole street to themselves so let's have a look down this street if you like beach walk of stalls that's grown up near to the beach you can see you can get roti there surprisingly you can get some green stuff that's also available all over Phuket you can get all your usual souvenirs you can get your fruit smoothies some more smooth smoothies if you don't want a smoothie you can get a fruit shake and if you don't want roti, you can get a pancake. Okay, it's all the same really, because there's a slight feeling that if you've seen one beach, you've seen many of them. This one does have a beautiful stretch of sand. And if the sky was blue and the sea was turquoise, it's definitely very peaceful, very relaxing. Talking of relaxing, you can get a massage, literally looking out at the beach. A lot of the places you can see, there are bars and there's restaurants and there's tables again next to the beach where you can enjoy your food and drink. Not too difficult to get down here, you can probably see. Lots of people choose to do it by motorbike, it would be fairly easily accessible from other resorts on Phuket as well. It's one of the top beaches, one of the most popular beaches on the west coast of Phuket. And of course, coming very soon, a marvelous sunset. Surin Beach, which is only about 40 minutes from the international airport, might be a place that you want to visit. So according to my plan, my next stop was meant to be Lem Singh Beach, but I don't think it's accessible by road. So where he dropped me was just another part of Surin Beach. And there's a notice that says you can get a boat. And you can because it's around the headland. It's supposed to be a little bit quieter there. And the boat is 200 baht to take you there and to bring you back. But actually, it's nearly time for sunset, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that today. I'd rather just chill out and share with you a westward facing sunset. This time from Surin Beach here in Phuket, Thailand. And that is our four hour trip. Most of it's probably been spent in a minivan, but it might be something that you fancy doing. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you again on the channel for a new video very soon. Bye for now. Thank you.